That's right, ladies and gents, welcome back to the USSR. I'm over the potato, and unbelievably, we have almost finished out an incredible term uh, as the dictator of the USSR. There's a couple of things still left to do. There's a couple of policies that we still need to introduce. Uh, there's been a couple of suggestions in the comments, which I'm always very, very grateful for. International Fusion Research Project. That is definitely something that I'm interested in doing, and we'll talk a little bit about that as we go. Uh, we might want to introduce more benefits. That's definitely something that we could possibly do. Uh, we could also look at introducing the one-child policy just as a, a purely experimental thing to do. Uh, there are also, I mean, is there anything else in the economy tab that we really want to to faff around with? Home fabrication grants? Maybe. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's introduce home fabrication grants. I really have no idea what um, what this is. That's a, that, that's a minus 14% to, I mean, that seems like a no from me. Anyway, all right, that was a silly idea. Oh, the game has frozen. No, oh, no, the game has unfrozen. Anyway, what else? What else do we want to introduce? Uh, any taxes? Not really. Not really at all. Not really interested in any tax, I'm afraid. Public services. We've got the tertiary education. Uh, constitutional basic needs we do want to do. We want to do the ideological education. We want to do the state tertiary education as well. And maybe a nuclear power station? Maybe a nuclear power station. In fact, I feel that a nuclear power station is probably first on the list of things to do, actually. So that's something to consider. Other than that, we've also got some of the some of the police state things which we which we might be able to introduce. In fact, that is something that we will introduce. There is an achievement that I still haven't got. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There is a, a a police state achievement which I still haven't managed to achieve. Apparently, I'm almost certain that I have, but. Whatever the case, I'm pretty certain that that will require us to get all of the all of the bits and bobs that will give us a super high security effectiveness and also make this entire thing green. Not quite sure what we're going to do about encryption law, but we'll see. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. We're also going to run into an election, presumably some point at this uh, at this episode. Uh, what is this? Yeah, he can have an accident. Sure. I mean, we're not. We're not great people. We just run the country well, and this is a police state, you know, and these uh, these agents, these rogue agents, they need to learn. They need to learn that, uh, that we don't mess around. Okay, so I'm thinking that nuclear power might be the top on the list of things that we want to try and get done ASAP. But I could be wrong. Organic farming subsidy? Nah. Not really that bothered by that, to be honest. I really don't want to introduce any taxes at all. Not at all. Not at all. These things all cost 50 political capital to get them introduced. So that's going to take a little bit of time to get done. Electronic direct democracy. Ooh. That's a good that's a good idea. Secret courts. Yep. Torch usage by secret services. Honestly, I feel that we should introduce almost all of these, almost all of these bits and bobs. I'm, I'm certainly very, very keen on it. Tram expansion. Honestly, not really that bothered to be honest. I think that we've pretty much, we've pretty much taken the transport section as far as we want to. I mean, sure, there's like bus lanes and rail subsidies and subsidized school buses and all this nonsense, but I don't think it really matters for our uh, for our purposes. Uh, so, I think we want to probably get nuclear power first, then a couple of police state bits and bobs. Sure. Then we'll get a couple of police state bits and bobs. And then we'll finish it out with the stuff that really matters. The constitutional needs, the ideological education, yada, 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 that sort of stuff. Okay, where is it? Public services, nuclear power station, and nuclear waste disposal. Do we need to get both of these? We can actually afford both of them. Well, let's have a little look. We'll see if it gives us nuclear waste uh, as an output to the nuclear power station. I don't actually know. It does, actually. Okay, fine. Electricity consumption, way down. Environmentalists don't like us. That's, that's not a problem, to be honest. Let's do that, and then let's also fully fund the nuclear waste disposal facility. Whatever. I don't even know what the, what the situation is here. Reuse of waste? 
or ocean disposal. I mean, I feel like ocean ocean disposal is absolutely cor the correct thing to do there. Uh, let's see uh, how the electricity demand changes. It looks like nuclear power is going to take a quite a chunk out of it. What is this? Civil rights on trial? How on earth was this able to arise? The intelligence services are good, but they're not that good. All right. Oil supply has actually dropped dramatically. That's a bit of a bummer, but that's not a problem. What is the status? What is the status on our electricity consumption? That is what I'm really, really curious about. Da, 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 da. It's down here somewhere. It's this one. It's that one. Okay, electricity consumption. Okay, nuclear power station is going to take four turns to come online. That's fine. I can wait. In the meantime, though, we're going to have to suffer through with a 48 billion ruble surplus. Holy cow, that's crazy. That's really, really crazy. Okay, so that's already the nuclear power achieved. Um, international fusion research project. I want to have a little look, actually, just to see what this does. That increases our energy efficiency. I mean... It's just not that good. Increases our foreign relations. Let's fully fund it, because at this point, I don't actually think that there is anything else that we will that we will be able to fully fund. Uh, foreign relations is already pretty darned high. Uh, international trade has basically been completely destroyed by the fact that we now have, uh, a, uh, you know, whatever it's called, an, econo an, e an economically independent economy. Which is great, but I mean, it makes it makes us really not care about foreign relations or international trade. Neither of those things really mean altogether too much to us, but that's not a problem. Let's just go to the next term. Uh, and let's see, extend human rights to robots? Sure, that seems like some wacky thing that would happen in the USSR. I'm happy to, I'm happy to play to the strengths of the system. All right. How many turns away? We're four turns away. We're four turns away. We've got 42 political capital. The real question is, what do we introduce right now? I think we can just about afford ideological education. Or state tertiary education, actually. Let's do ideological education right now. Let's introduce that. That's going to cost us 42 political capital. Ooh, yikes. That actually, that's strongly individualistic that will actually decrease the membership of uh liberals all right fine let's do that i mean pretty much everyone is a socialist at this point apart from the two percent of people that are capitalists they've really been on a, a tear recently a, a real resurgence in popularity Okay, so that's us down to zero political capital, four turns away, four turns away from an election. The problem is, an election could technically end the game. I don't know how, if all the mods are, are working together, that something might, something might go wrong. Um, keep him here, sure, whatever. That doesn't particularly matter to me. Game has frozen yet again. The game is, tends to freeze at moments like this, but that's okay. All right, man, holy cow, we're sitting on a pile of cash. We're sitting on billions and billions of cash. I'm so glad that we managed to miss this entire interest rate hike. It's been really, really good. Look at that, our income is actually capped. We literally cannot make any more money. I feel that this is something that they've got, definitely got to change for uh, Democracy 4. Like, your GDP just can't stop. It just can't, it can't just stop getting good. There's no limit to it. But... There is in this game, obviously. Anyway, the point remains. We've got 34 political capital. We've got ideological education. What next? There's state tertiary education, which we can introduce, like, right now. Let's introduce state tertiary education. Let's do it. I have literally no idea what this is gonna... What this is gonna do for us. As it turns out, not that much. I mean, it's kind of nice. I mean, it would have been a nice policy earlier on. Student laptops. All right. Apparently, that is what uh, what classifies as successful education these days. Just giving students laptops. That's, that's fair enough. 
Uh, but that's that's it. I mean, we've pretty much en enacted almost every policy in the public services section, and that's with all of the uh, additional mods as well. Public religious broadcasts, force military religious oath, constitutional basic needs, which we are going to introduce. National anthem at the start of the news. Yeah, I mean, we could introduce that. That's pretty, pretty Soviet. But apart from that, the only other thing, which I would say is... Uh, this isn't a very Soviet thing to do, a constitutional basic needs whatever document. But, of course, uh, that's it's pretty pretty cool to do and therefore we're going to do it. So, I think next we probably want to try and do all of the, the fancy schmancy criminal police state stuff. So I'm kind of excited about that and that will just allow us to hopefully maybe get that achievement. We've got a minor budget deficit. Mortgage rate rise, really? I'm, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm honestly surprised that anyone has a, a mortgage in the USSR. I mean, we own, the government owns all of the houses, and uh, everyone else just, just rents them from us. Can we shave 400, um, 400 bucks off our expenditure? Honestly, I feel like we definitely can. Blah, 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 blah. Road building, maybe? we shave like a little bit of off-road building? Sure, let's just free up a billion. Let's free up a couple of billion extra pounds. Actually, you know what? Let's just... Let's just reduce it. Let's just reduce it massively. There we go. Alright, so we'll save ourselves like six billion there. Which, I mean, it's pocket change really. And I'm not actually bothered about running that deficit. It's more just so it can look good. <laughs> more than anything else at this point. Yeah, we're running a nice little, uh, a nice little budget, uh, a nice little budget surplus now. So we've returned, we've returned the economy to where it should be. Honestly, I, I feel that things shouldn't be as good as they are now. I also feel that we're kind of untouchable. Because we are economically independent, there's pretty much nothing that can go wrong. Yeah, there's literally nothing that can go wrong. I mean, our GDP through the roof and has been for many, 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 many months. And it's not going to change. It's not going to change at all. All right, let's see what we actually need. Curfews, I think, was one of the things that we need. Let's just sort of talk about it. Curfews, detention without trial, and ID cards. Well, I know for a fact that ID cards is the only one uh, that actually costs money. I, I, I mean, I say money, like significant money. Death penalty doesn't cost anything. Detention without trial basically costs nothing. Uh, curfews costs nothing. I mean, half a, half a billion. I guess that's kind of a little bit. But the ID cards costs $3.5 billion. ID cards actually has quite a large amount of popularity, which is fine with me, to be honest. Uh, let's... Mandatory microchip implant. Jeez Louise, that's hellish to imagine. Uh, an ID card for everyone. Let's introduce that. Okay. Conservatives, patriots, liberals don't like it. Violent crime is going to go down and crime in general is going to go down. Okay, good. Heavily enforced, fully implemented fully implemented ID cards is going to help us become the ultimate police state. Whistleblower, uh, prosecute, I mean, I'm sure the liberals probably won't like that, but let's be real, I, I, I'm really not bothered at this rate. I think that we're going to survive, and especially if we pour more and more points into our, uh, into our police state, we'll get there. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. How many votes is the opposition going to get? That's the question. Maybe zero. A unanimous. A unanimous. Apart from these these people. These guys are all going to be rounded up and sent to the gulag. But a unanimous. A unanimous vote of success. I, I Honestly. This, this looks almost too good to be true. It almost looks like it's fake. But no, it's it's actually real. Um, who who didn't like us? I I actually don't know who didn't like us. But I mean, literally everyone likes us, apart from capitalists, religious people, and conservatives. Apparently, I think conservatives. I thought they liked me. All right. Well, let's have a little uh, a little overview of what's changed since we uh, since we started off. Health up dramatically. Education up by a fair amount. Crime eliminated. Violent crime, pretty much eliminated as well. 
Uh, poverty down, equality up hugely, technology up hugely, working week is down, which is great for all the workers out there, you hear me, shout out to you guys, uh, environment up hugely, car usage down, rail usage up, bus usage up by a very, very large margin, I like that indeed, productivity, never been higher mate, never been higher, unemployment, never been lower, CO2 emissions, also super darned low, energy efficiency, uh, is is up actually really really darn high immigration up doesn't really matter for all our intents and purposes so that's a thing air travel is also up Ooh, that's that's not that's not ideal for the environment but whatever uh, racial tension is down by a good uh, a good number a good percent uh, foreign relations is up substantially international trade is down because we're economically independent oil prices up due to the you know march over time oil supply is down due to some other factors. Uh, oil demand is down, which is what really matters for us, I think. Uh, poor earnings are up, middle earnings are down. Holy cow, how are middle earnings down? How are middle earnings down and how are high earnings down? I mean, I suppose we do tax the, we do tax tax everyone quite, quite, a, quite a lot, but you know, I like to think that everyone's now on a level playing field. And that's the important thing here. Private healthcare, basically unchanged. Private housing, basically unchanged. Private schools, up substantially. That's because we completely slashed education spending and spending in state schools. Literally just because of that one policy. And the only reason that we got rid of that policy is because it was giving local government a massive boost and that was terrible. Uh, the important figure that I sort of skipped over right there was GDP up by 82%. Holy cow. The rest of the stuff doesn't really matter that much. Uh, nuclear waste remains unchanged at zero. That's interesting, actually. Nuclear waste remains unchanged at zero. I wonder what the effects are, or could be. Who honestly knows? A water shortage has developed. Really? Really? I mean, honestly, what can I do at this rate? I can put in another system. I'm gonna sure. I'll put in a. I'll put in a, a more advanced system. Maybe that'll get rid of it. I don't know. Uh, there's a small budget surplus which is about to be completely gobbled by the climate. Uh, the climate change adapt adaptation fund. But that's okay. I'm anticipating that by the time that our reserves have been depleted, we will uh, have long finished this series. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Okay, we've got 28 political capital, which means that we've got, oh, a maximum of 68 political capital. That's pretty darn good. How is everyone doing in our cabinet, by the way? Everyone is giving us 5.5, except you and you. The conservatives really are not on board with us at the moment, even though they literally don't exist as a people. They do like ideological education, though, so their happiness is about to go through the roof. All zero of them are going to be super happy about the fact that... Uh, well, then I'm doing something that appeases them. Uh, air travel. Air travel has never been higher, unfortunately. And that's purely because of GDP. Okay, I feel like... I felt bad for a bit because I thought that it was something that I would have done. Trade agreement? Sure? No. We're economically independent. Uh, yeah, so I thought, it, I thought air travel was uh, something that... Uh, I don't know. Shrewd economic policies. Indeed, that's me. Uh, yeah, so I thought that air travel was spurred on by something that I had done, but as it turns out, that's not really the case. It's just uh, entirely down to GDP being as high as it is, which I'm totally fine with. A maximum of 70. 70, 70, 70. Wow. That is, that's just perfect. That is just absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, let's introduce our next police state policy. Mandatory microchip implant. That is something that we actually need to do. All right, let's go and do it. We're going to lose 15 billion a turn, but whatever. Conservatives apparently like it. I don't know anyone who would like a, man a mandatory uh, microchip implant. I've not spoken to a lot of people about it, admittedly. However, just going up to a random person in the street and say, Hey, would you like to get a mandatory microchip implanted underneath your skin? So that the government can track you? I mean, I, almost nothing sounds worse, uh, actually. Uh, sure, propose the Freedom Act, that's fine. Liberals will like me for a little bit longer. Uh, expenditure, as I say, I'm not really worried about our expenditure uh, going much uh, much higher or whatever. That's, that's not a problem. Our expenditure can continue to go as high as, to be, as, to be honest, as needed. 
even even at this rate it'll give us like 30 or 40 turns losing 15 billion a turn you really can't ask for much more than that you really cannot ask for much more than that uh, unfortunately we only have 48 political capital which means that we can't uh, we can't introduce the next policy that we want to introduce which would presumably be curfews yep curfews and the death penalty and detention without trial those are all the things oh no sorry we don't actually need the death penalty well i think we should introduce the death penalty anyway just for the sake of it i feel like it's a very police statey thing to do all right the game always hangs on the, the loading screen here. Hopefully this is going to be something that's improved for Democracy 4. Our reserves have dipped below uh, below 700 billion rubles for the first time in, uh, in a while. But that's not a problem. Alright, so community policing, curfews. And a death penalty. Curfews. Let's get curfews first. Get curfews first. Alright, GDP is going to see a significant hit. But, to be honest, I don't care. 10 p.m. to 8 a.m.? That's a long curfew. Limit agency activity, sure. Whatever. Okay, now we're running a 16 billion deficit. Again, not a big deal. It's only, it's only a little bit. Okay, a food crisis has developed, and that food crisis has developed because of the price of water. I know it's a problem. Biofuel subsidies are feeding it. And so is the water shortage primarily. And I don't actually think that we can that we can do anything about this water shortage now, unfortunately. I think that it might just be around forever. So the food crisis will continue to exist. There's been a flash crash in the uh, in the market, which I didn't look at, but uh, currency strength is negative. GDP uh, supposedly is by is down by thirty percent. Your G our GDP took a severe blow. I'm pretty sure that our GDP didn't take uh, uh, any blow, actually, because we are economically independent. At least that's my reading of the situation. Okay, so the last thing that we want to introduce is detention without trial. We're going to be able to implement that right now. Foreign relations are going to be, once again, trashed, but that's not a problem whatsoever. Liberals really despise me. But our security effectiveness is now super duper high. Um, and next turn, I suspect we're going to be... We're going to be doing the... I don't know. We'll have to actually see. Well, actually, you know, this is a good, uh, a good test. Because a state monopoly on encryption should technically be safer. But I actually suspect that that will reduce that icon. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see next turn. All right. Next turn. Okay. Small budget deficit of 18 billion. We'll need to address at some stage. Yeah. Business leader, popular and capitalist, tour of the country. Security surface. Tours the country against you in the next election? Really? The next election in about 15 years? Jail her. That's right. Get in jail. Get in jail. You can't campaign against me undefeatable undefeatable totally 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 undefeatable uh okay let's have a little look okay encryption law needs to be changed we need to bump that right up to mandatory encryption which supposedly does wonders for us actually i don't know why that shows security effectiveness as being as high as it possibly could be but it doesn't particularly matter Okay, so the only thing that we've got left is the introduction of the constitutional basic needs. There's also a bunch of other stuff that we could potentially introduce, like hydropower, uh, water conservation program, which I do want to introduce, actually. I do want to introduce. I'm not sure that we're actually going to be able to do anything about this water shortage, and I've introduced the water conservation program, and I know it's, it's not... It's not useful and it's not going to change anything. Um, I'll reduce water demand. Sure, whoop de doo I know that there's pretty much nothing else that we can do when it comes to... When it comes to law and order. Yeah, we can introduce some wild stuff like prisoner tagging or... I mean, we didn't we get rid of 
prost uh, prostitution. I think we did. Gated communities, death penalty, electronic direct democracy. I think that some of this stuff will be really, really fun to experiment with. And that's, I think, something that we'll need to do in the next episode before finally concluding for finally concluding with uh, with the important constitutional basic needs, which says it is irreversible, apparently. Very, very interesting indeed. Well, we're going to have to find out what that actually means in the next episode, because that's it for now, ladies and gents. Thank you very, very much for watching. I've been Obra Potato. This has been Democracy 3 playing, of course, as the USSR. I'll see you next time. Bye.